Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. I hate this mission. I really do. But it is time to deal with the Vault. The Romulans had a base known as the Vault that they used for research into Borg technology. This facility was abandoned in the chaos after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld. But intelligence suggests that the work there was far enough along that it was used to retrofit Nero's ship before it disappeared along with Ambassador Spock's vessel in the Hobus system. Long-range sensors have detected energy spikes in the Halcona system, and Starfleet intelligence believes that someone is bringing the vault back online. We need to know who, and more importantly, we need to know if there is still Borg technology or restricted weaponry on that base. I need you to proceed immediately to the Halcona system and investigate the vault. Engage if you must, but I would prefer if you could gather the information we need without conflict. Now, in case you're wondering, okay, why is he at Starbase 39 Sierra? Well, I kind of have to be. Otherwise, I can't talk to DeSoto. In order to avoid drawing too much attention, you need to fly under the radar, so to speak. Admiral Tanay has authorized the requisition of a shuttlecraft for you. You can fulfill the requisition in the shipyard. Once you're ready, take the shuttlecraft out to the Hakona system. If you have a runabout, fighter, or other such craft available, feel free to use it, but do not approach the system in a starship. We want to avoid the notice of whoever's in the vault. A shuttle will also be able to dock with the vault and explore the interior. Any questions? Very well. Remember, you must use a shuttlecraft, runabout, fighter, or similar small operations craft to undertake this mission. We need on-site intel from the interior of the vault. Starfleet will not clear you to enter the Hakona system otherwise. Good luck. I'm not gonna bother swapping from my big starship to something else. That being said, I'm going to kind of need to. Yeah, that's basically how I switch ships. Just do that. So in this case, I have to make sure that the best equipment I have is on my shuttle. Seriously, who doesn't like this little shuttlecraft? It's a classic. Of course, it's still as pathetic as everything else. Obviously, this station isn't as abandoned as Intel suspected. Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area, and that's just the ones that we can spot. That station is immense! It must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. It's almost the size of a small moon. That's no moon. <laughs> Sensors are reading a sophisticated tachyon detection network, as well as several patrolling vessels. For an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. My people are experts at stealth technology. If we want to approach unseen, we must avoid confrontation and find a way to evade or jam their sensor grid. We must assume that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whoever is left on the station, and it may become difficult to find an entry point. Try impossible. But it's time for this shuttle to do what it does best. Ah, there's the subspace booster relay. I mean, seriously, it's boxy, but it's a classic. Uh, I miss TOS. The new stuff sucks. 
Looks like they left this satellite as a communications booster for their short-range worker shuttles. Fortunately for us, it's still active. Unfortunately, it's heavily encrypted. Traffic analysis shows that the network routes its communications through a series of nodes at the station's dorsal peaks. If we flood them with excessive signal, it could cause the network to be unable to handle any signal traffic, which would give us a brief window to slip in. The alerts wouldn't go off because the station would never get the signal. We'll still have to avoid the patrols and make sure we don't get too close to the station until we make the broadcast. Relatively simple. I've done it before. Three times before. There it is. That's a big station. Approaching the Tachyon grid perimeter. If we're detected by it, that will definitely alert the Remans. Oh, I'm gonna get as close as I can before storming those Tachyon grid. Um, you get the idea. Station sensor hub jammed. Screw you! Into the vault! I want to get this over with as quickly as possible. I also want to get rid of this shuttle. Picking up some unusual energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. Fortunately for me, I know exactly what to do. I don't need to waste energy credits manufacturing things. All I have to do is just take out those turrets. We've tripped some security systems. <laughs> The doors are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmenting the different parts of the base. Possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong in one of the central areas. Access appears to be controlled by use of security keys. We can disable it if we can find a code block that matches part of a security key. Relatively simple. Scan the turret debris. This defense turret was hooked into part of the security network. There's a security code in its subsystem. Code block 6750. The security key is on a rotation. Each code block matches a piece of one key. Key in the appropriate code when the rotation matches to it. Trying a code on the wrong rotation will probably invalidate that code, so be careful with the timing. Done. That's it. Well done. We should be able to bypass the system and gain access now. I hate this mission because shuttles. Fortunately, I've done it enough times to know kind of what the hell I'm doing. It doesn't mean I like it. I'd like flying around in a full-sized starship with enough firepower to blow apart anything the size of the shuttlecraft.
revamped shuttles to be better than what they are, I would gladly accept it. A third rear weapon slot? I could mount an omnidirectional phaser and put a pair of beanbags on this thing. The way it should be. Above us, that's a Borg Spear. The Tall Shi'ar must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. The Borg Spear is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long-range scans detected. Looks like the spear's hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. Yes, indeed. My only regret is that I didn't bring a Riemann fighter here. That way I could just go straight, go straight through, instead of having to deal with nonsense. I mean, one ship is combat. things like actual fighters. Contrast to, well. This, where they're rather pathetic. They were far more capable than the show. Not as capable as a full-size starship, but still better than this. The runabout should be the best fighter in the game, craft in the game. But it isn't. Because it's, you know, bigger than this thing, bigger than everything else. This is disturbing. We're looking at a facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more... curious. I expect that you are operating under the Shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. Did you know Sela's mother was a human? And a Starfleet officer, no less. Given Starfleet's many attempts at interference with the Romulan Star Empire over the years, it is quite obvious that at least some elements of both organizations are cooperating. Either that, or possibly your Starfleet has been tricked into doing the Empress's bidding. Not entirely untrue. Why do you think I keep calling Sela a half-breed? Your protest will do you no good in any case. I expected interference, and I have taken steps to ensure that you will not disrupt my plans. I'm not especially interested in what you will or will not permit. My only interest is proving a point to the Romulans. My people have been hounded across the stars. We have been separated from our loved ones and had our homes destroyed. Our ships have been attacked and our warriors slain by treachery. No more. We will take the fight to them, and we will be free. I am afraid our time is at an end. My associates have already finished loading the Thaleron weapons that we need, and I have other operations to manage. I think we both know what happens now. May your death be quick and valorous. There will be no death today. Except for the fight.
shuttles to be rear and aft facing. I'll have to do a quick video on that. so stubborn and wanting to stick to TOS equipment, I would have just picked a Riemann fighter and gotten the hell out of here. Thank you. Goodbye. Getting the hell out of the tent. No, oh, blast the door off. Leave me alone. This is ridiculous. This is stupid. This is one of the many reasons I hate the vault. Goodbye. I hope never to see any of you again. Go ahead. 
ahead and follow. You're only going to hit walls. to shoot at me. Because I have no reason to fight you. Stop Obasek's ship. They cannot be allowed to possess Thaleron weapons. We can use the subspace booster satellite outside the station to send a message to Starfleet as soon as we're clear of the interior. But Obasek's warship will almost certainly attack us when we do. We'll have to survive long enough for reinforcements to arrive. That should be relatively easy. Problem is, I hate Reinforcements shuttles. have arrived and are just past that nebula. We don't have much time. We need to meet with our allies and stop that ship. And hopefully I don't have to deal with this mission for a good long time. Next time, I'm just bringing ships with cloaking devices. USS Laza is signaling us. They're going to engage the Riemann ship, but they want us to take care of the fighters and plasma torpedo. We are now in the micro nebula. <laughs> Oh. 
committed the pointless ones. I would have equipped tractor beams. Nebula. That was quite an explosion. Probably from the Thaleron weapons carried aboard the ship. We're going to leave the system under high warp to draw off any reinforcements that might come looking. Suggest you return to Federation space. Never again will I do this mission with a normal shuttle. Cloaking devices. Cloaking devices. Cloaking devices. That way I can just leave. Instead of deal with this nonsense again. Instead of leaving. Instead of going in, going out. I was forced to deal with half an hour of nonsense. I'm getting rid of this ship as soon as I dock. Or at least as soon as I report to Soto. Taken a preliminary look at your logs, and it seems that things went a bit unexpectedly. I have a feeling this isn't the last time we'll be seeing the vault. The Raymond commander you encountered is definitely a major player in the disintegration of the Romulan Star Empire. I'm going to send the information you gathered about him over to an old colleague of mine, Dr. Maximilian Peters. If this Raymond is a leader in their separatist movement, we'll have to deal with him again. And hopefully, Dr. Peters can work up a psychological profile for him, and a sociological analysis of the Separatists. Our next step will be to decode the signal intelligence and go through any remnants left from the ship that was destroyed near the vault. Now that we know that the Remans were hoping to use Thaleron weapons, we need to figure out their target location. Right now, Starfleet knows far too little about a civil war in the making, but it'll take time to sift through all of the data. Keep in touch. Starfleet will notify you when we have a lead. Excellent work. 
We need to learn more about the conflict between Obasek and the Romulans. Sila's forces may indeed be hounding the Remans, but the use of Thaleron weapons is unacceptable. Not even the Klingons or the Breen will stoop to such barbarism. Starfleet Intelligence will be working to decode the list of possible targets you acquired from the base's databanks. The next step may be to investigate these sites and find out why the Remans want to destroy them. I have new missions. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.